Section 29. Fragments. Three Years After. By Victor J. Daly. Read for LibriVox.org. By Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Three Years After. Fade off the ridges, rosy light. Fade slowly from the last gray height and leave no gloomy cloud to grieve the heart of this enchanted eve all things beneath the still sky seem bound by the spell of a sweet dream in the dusk forest dreamingly droop slowly down each plumed head the river flowing softly by dreams of the sea the quiet sea dreams of the unseen stars and i am dreaming of the dreamless dead the river has a silken sheen but red rays of the sunset stain its pictures from the steep shore caught till shades of rock and fern and tree grow like the figures on a pane of some old church by twilight seen or like the rich devices wrought in medieval tapestry all lonely in a drifting boat through shine and shade i float and float dreaming and dreaming till i seem part of the picture and the dream there is no sound to break the spell no voice of bird or stir of bough only the lisp of waters wreathing in little ripples round the prow and a low air like silence breathing that hardly doth the sleeping swell whereon i float to that strange deep that sighs upon the shores of sleep but in the silent heaven blooming behold the wondrous sunset flower that blooms and fades within the hour the flower of fantasy perfuming with subtle melody of scent the blue isles of the firmament for color music sent are one from deeps of air to airless heights lo how he sweeps the splendid sun his burning lyre of many lights see the clear golden lily blowing it shines as shone thy gentle soul o oh, my most sweet when from the goal of life far gazing thou didst see when death still feared to touch thine eyes where such immortal light was glowing the vision of eternity the pearly gates of paradise now richer hues the skies illume the pale gold blushes into bloom delicate as the flowering of first love in the tender spring of life when love is wizardry that over narrow days can throw a glamour and a glory so did thine my beautiful for me so long ago so long ago so long ago so long ago ah what can love and grief estrange or memory and sorrow part lo in the west another change a deeper glow a rose of fire a rose of passionate desire lone burning in a lonely heart a lonely heart a lonely flood the wave that glassed her gleaming head and smiling past it does not know that gleaming head lies dark and low the myrtle tree that bends above i pray that it may early bud for under its green boughs sat we we twain we only hand in hand when love was lord of all the land it does not know that she is dead and all is over now with love is over now with love and me once more once more o shining years gone by once more o vanished days 
whose hours flew by on iris wings come back and bring my love to me my voice faints down the wooded waves and dies along the darkling flood the past is past i cry in vain for when did death an answer deign to love's heart-broken questionings the dead are deaf dust chokes their ears only the rolling river hears far off the calling of the sea a shiver strikes through all my blood mine eyes are full of sudden tears the shadows gather over all the valley and the mountains old shadow on shadow fast they fall on glooming green and waning gold and on my heart they gather drear damp as with grave damps dark with fear o sorrow sorrow couldst thou leave me not one brief hour to dream alone hast thou not all my days to grieve me my nights are they not all thine own thou hauntest me at morning light thou blackest the white moonbeams a hollow voice at noon at night a crowned ghost sitting on a throne ruling the kingdom of my dreams maker of men thou gavest breath thou gavest love to all that live thou rendest loves and lives apart all wise art thou who questioneth thy will or who can read thy heart but couldst thou not in mercy give a sign to us one little spark of sure hope that the end of all is not concealed beneath the pall or wound up with the winding sheet who heedeth aught the preacher saith when eyes wax dim and limbs grow stark and fear sits on the darkened bed the dying man turns to the wall what hope have we above our dead tense fingers clutching at the dark and hopeless hands that vainly beat against the iron doors of death End of section 29. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.